Hi guys, welcome back. It's been a while. Uh, I don't think I've been in this shed for about five weeks. Just not had the motivation to come in here for some reason. But anyway, here I am, back. Uh, electric fire on because it's freezing. Uh, I've got my hat on because it's freezing. I've got three coats on because it's freezing. I've got two pair of trousers on because it's freezing. And I've got this to try and fix again. Yes, I've got rid of my old uh, unlucky work coat, threw it in the bin, and it's still having no luck. So let's open this video. We have lots and lots of luck. see what it looks like at the moment but I'll show you if I can hook you off there Checking these wires for the ignition coils, they're all pretty brand new inside. You know, I did get a comment from a guy, uh, what was it, Demon Rider, I think it's Demon Rider. Thank you, Demon Rider. He's had a couple of bikes, similar problems as mine. We found out to be wire burn on the HD wires. So, doesn't seem to be that problem on mine. I've just got one more wire to check which I didn't check which is the earth wire down there I'm going to check that with my multimeter and see where I go from there if not if they seem okay then I'm thinking of buying the uh, one and three ignition coil I found one for 15 quid on eBay so I could be buying that replacing that or the next thing will be this CDI unit which these grey and orange wires go to the grey and orange wires from the HT coils go all the way into the CDI unit so I found one of them for 25 quid, free postage, and I found one of them for 15 quid, free postage. So, I'll buy the cheap one first, 15. And hopefully if it fixes it, we're all good, but if it doesn't fix it, hopefully the 25 quid one of these CDIs will still be there. Because the other ones are 60 or 80 quid. So, without further ado, Let's get on with it. Okay, so let's try to undo the little earth wire off the coil. Just one 10mm Allen key bolt. There she is. Let's try not to lose the bolt. Trace this back as far as we can. I think that might be it. No, nope, that's not it. Is that it? Yep, that's it. So we've traced it back as far as there. I don't know whether to cut some more sleeve off or... It does actually feel quite good. Okay, so I've peered the wires back a bit more. Let's find this black cable. Looks like it's going into a cluster. Cluster fuck is going into this one cluster, so 
I think what a lot of people do is, because they've got a beer end this end, let's get the bolt meter in position. Because they've got a beer wire this end, they can touch it with the spike, <laughs> whatever they're called, and then the other end they touch on the far end of the wire. So what a lot of people do is get their Stanley knife or something and scratch a bit of the plastic off. But I think it's much more easier if you just get one of the wife's sewing pins. If you can see that. And just stick it into the black casing. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Got a big cluster of earth cables here, so if I go to the one that's feeding them, hopefully there won't be a problem beyond that. So just push your needle through the plastic casing into the metal wire. Then once you've got your pin in there, it's a bit bent, but should be okay. Switch it to the resistance. Make sure we're on the right one. Touch the prongs together to make sure you're on the right one. And drop it free to. And then uh, find this end of the wire your tester on it then touch it on the pin and that seems to be okay as well so the earth cable seems okay as well well up to this point could be faulty from further up but I want to fault so all the wiring on this bike seems pretty brand new underneath the plastic so Let's try something else. Okay, so that's all the wiring cased back up. I've just restarted it, hoping that I've done some good, but no, it's just exactly the same. So I'm gonna go and order that. Let's see what happens when I put that on next time. I've had my first casualty with my new coat. Put it on the exhaust. See if they're all hot, and they're all hot, so bad. Uh, that's next job then. Buy this, put it on. Doesn't work. Buy that, put it on. Doesn't work set the thing on fire and uh, claim on my insurance. So yes, that's it. Quick video just to let you guys know what's going on. Still haven't started the CBR project, basically because uh, I know I'm going to need a top end gasket set for the engine, 100 quid. No way I can afford it at the moment, so it's not really worth starting that until I can afford the top end gasket set. So I'm still plodding on with this. Hopefully when I get the coil, we've got good news. So thanks for watching. Yep, so don't forget to uh, click the subscribe, little white box down there. Uh, leave a thumbs up, comment down below. Don't sound right, does it? Comment down below. Yep, comment down below. And, uh, I'll see you again soon. Guy was a young boy. A school teacher brought him to school. A melted engine. And he put it in to the workshop boys. And then he started it up with a whole piece of rope. And the smell 